guys, it's Beverly. I hope you've been wondering where the heck have I been. <laughs> well, uh, yesterday was the 12th, guys. Sorry, I'm a day late. Uh, what happened was I went to Bermuda. <laughs> I cruised to Bermuda. And, you know, long story long. That's, that's what this video is going to be. And it's also going to be the drawing for the ice cream Superman yarn for my second year pod anniversary. So, let's go right in to the story. And then I'll put the giveaway at the end. <laughs> that's me, I know. Okay, so we left on September 3rd to go to an eight-day cruise to Bermuda. No, it wasn't a crochet cruise. It was, an, it was a second attempt to go to Bermuda, which we made it to Bermuda a long time ago, and we made it to Bermuda um, on this cruise. But I scheduled an excursion on both of them. Years apart. The first cruise, it was it's the famous homes tour, and you go around the outside of the island, and it's 27 miles around the island, and it's a boat ride, and they point out the beautiful homes, and I guess Michael Douglas was raised in Bermuda because his mom, his mother was a Bermudian. <laughs> Say that word, what word she was, but anyway, it rained many years ago. It rained, so we didn't get to go. So we decided, okay, we've got another cruise. Now, if you're interested in cruises from Florida for Bermuda instead of leaving out of New York or New Jersey or wherever it does on the east coast, you could make a Florida trip and then go. We left from Port Canaveral. And of course it was crazy because that Artemis rocket was supposed to go off on the same day that our cruise was departing. But the rocket scratched. So the traffic was not as bad even though we left two hours early. But it did work out good. So anyway. Okay, so we boarded the cruise. Then Hurricane Earl showed up. <laughs> so we made it to Bermuda. We did do one excursion which was a glass bottom boat and I'm going to be you know inserting some pictures in this video of this glass bottom boat tour and there was a shipwreck and you know and the actual Bermuda Triangle so I've been to all points in the Bermuda Triangle and if you don't know what it is of course you can google it but uh, Bermuda Miami and uh, Puerto Rico those are make the triangle points over the Bermuda Triangle so anyway um, so the last day of it the captain decided that he was going to leave six hours early from Bermuda which cut our last day at Bermuda and cut <laughs> my famous homes tour around the outside of the island now, the first time we went, I'm going to throw this in real quick, the Amer America's Cup was practicing in Bermuda. And I thought, oh, this is going to be so cool. We'll see some of the boats, you know, going around Bermuda, you know, because that's where they're going to have the America's Cup. And if you don't know what that is, that's a special boat. I don't know what the boat is called. But anyway, all these different countries compete in a race. And it was being held in, around Bermuda. So of course it so of course it rained and um, we didn't get to see them practice and we did not get to go around and see the famous homes. So Hurricane Earl sh showed up. We left six hours early. Scratch the famous homes tour. We had an extra day at sea. We went to Nassau and we went to Coco Cay. Now. It was real fun. It was relaxing. My husband enjoyed it very much because he likes the days at sea. And he likes to people watch. And you know how that can be. <laughs> okay, so that's the good news. Now let's talk about a little bit of bad news. 
Beverly's Crafts got COVID. I caught COVID. Of course, when you depart right now, you have to have a negative COVID test at least 48 hours before you leave. And I think we did ours like 24 hours before we leave and I had a negative COVID test. Okay. On the boat, or on the ship, um, Thursday, which would have been the 8th, I started feeling flu-like symptoms. Now, your opinion on the boosters and the COVID shots are, is your opinion. My opinion is I have all four of those shots. And my doctor has said that if there's any that come down the pike, get them. Okay? That's me. That's me. So I had all four of the shots. And we know, or you should know, that COVID, the COVID shots and boosters do not keep you from getting COVID. They just make your symptoms light. And you can tell I'm me. Okay? So at this point, I got COVID last Thursday, and today's Tuesday. So the first five days supposedly is when you're contagious. I didn't find out I had COVID until Sunday when I came home and I took two tests. And other people might have said I should have contacted the ship and had them do a test, and that's right. I probably should have. But I took a test on Sunday, test two in fact and it tested positive my husband took a test negative okay so i emailed my doctor sunday monday morning they called in this prescription and i'm going to show it to you and your opinions on this medicine again are your opinions my doctor prescribed this for me and the reason i'm showing you the box is because i don't know how to say this and i'm not going to kill it okay so, it is P-A-X-L-O-V-I-D. <laughs> Paxlovid. I don't know how to say it. Whatever. Okay. And I'm taking it twice a day. And as you can see, I'm fine. I did three loads of laundry today. But I'm rusting in between every task. And I'm also, I've been working on people's computers. I've either been picking them up on their front porch or they've been dropping them off on my front porch. So I, you know, I've been working and resting. I've been doing remote computer repairs and resting. I'm drinking lots of fluids. Um, I'm having some hot tea occasionally and i'm taking it easy the doctor said with this medicine and as we know things with this covid change all the time nothing is in stone um i read the um royal caribbean royal Car Car caribbean royal caribbean website and what their protocol is currently currently is that um, that you can board the cruise ship unvaccinated but of course you must have a negative COVID test okay the last cruise I went on which is a crochet cruise which was in February everyone had to be vaccinated and have a negative COVID test so maybe that's the difference but like they said on their website it's a virus and when you gather it's in the public. It's a possibility that you will catch it. And it's just something that we're going to have to live with, which is my opinion. You have your opinion. Great. Okay. So, I'm doing good. And I hope you guys are, if you catch it, that you're doing good. Okay. And, um, oh, I wanted to mention about this medicine. You take it twice a day for five days. And my doctor said that when I complete this medicine, my quarantine is over. You might be told something different. I'm following doctor's advice for me. And I'm informing you that maybe the protocols have changed, but guess what? Check with your doctor. 
Okay, so I just want to pass that on. Where I've, I've, I've been. I've been on a cruise. I got COVID. I've been catching up. And now, let's see. Oh, I'm going to show you what, what I've been working on. Uh, I've been working on this. This is a corner to corner in the round. And I may have showed you this on my last videos or whatever. I don't recall because that was a while ago. Because I taped two videos before I went. So you guys would at least have one on the third and I think one on the sixth. So anyway, I'm not to 4,000 subscribers. I mean, for, I keep saying that. I'm not to 4,000 watch hours yet. But we still have, you know, until I get 365 days. So we'll be good. Okay. Now, I also wanted to mention, I just showed you the back side of it. <laughs> this yarn is mostly from the Dollar Tree. Okay. You know, the Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. And I have other colors that I want to add in. Plus, I'm going to be hitting the stash. Okay, I also wanted to show you this. Um, this was a towel. I don't recall where I got it. I'm so sorry. It doesn't, doesn't say imported by. But it doesn't say. And I don't know where I got this towel from, but I bought it. It's a Halloween towel. I'm going to hold it up. And then I'm going to read it, you know, some of it to you. But you guys can pretty much see it. Isn't it cool? And when I do my towels, I, you know, there's other videos about my towel toppers. I, I have two sides, okay? Because it's a two-sided towel. And I cut it in half. I fold it over. And I got it pinned right now. And what I'm going to do is get out my sewing machine and do a row of stitching crossed okay because then my towel will not un unravel and it says happy have a spooktacular Halloween rest in peace R.I.P. and that's what I'm going to be working on I got to find some orange yarn I want to find some in my stash so I haven't run out or had my husband run out. My next crash show is um, the 24th of September. So I haven't counted my days when I'll be up with my medicine. But I'm sure I'll have time to grab some orange if I don't have some in my stash. But I think some orange would be good with this. You know, that's what I think. And then they'll be available for my craft show. So I'm working on that. I'm also working, I sold the cherry pie pot holder. Or a hot pad. I'm so excited. I sold it through Etsy and I'm making another one. And then I'm making this smaller pot hold spot smaller pot holder cherry pies. So that was the big one with the lattice work and stuff across the top. So I'm making another one of those. That sold. Um when I was on the cruise I finished a pink baby blanket and started another one and that was for inventory. Um, I think that's kind of it. Oh, I've been signing people up for the craft show that we're having in my community December 3rd. Okay, so this ice cream yarn. And someone asked in the comments, which I tried to find it so I could reply to them directly, where I got this. I think I got this in a Mary Maxim or Hirschner's mystery bag, is what I think. <clears throat> Here's the second one. That's why I was missing. <laughs> There's the second one. This pattern. I love this pattern on this um, ball here. I might have to print it out. Let me see if it... Oh, the pattern number is... I told you guys before... It's on lionbrand.com, and the pattern, pattern number is L as, as in L London, or Linda, 50333B as in Beverly. Remember, I told you guys. And 
it's a granny square built from the center and I think that's great so I'm gonna pull that pattern up before I let these go okay you guys let's have the drawing now here is my tablet and here is the YouTube comment picker you guys have seen it before so I'm gonna move these so that I can hold this close up okay now I've already typed in the URL and I'll kind of hold it so you guys because I know that some of you people have criticized me so there is the URL and I filtered out duplicate comments and now I'm gonna scroll it up and down at the bottom it says start raffle and pick random winner and then start okay so let me show you that so that's what I just read right here and I'm gonna press start I hope yeah there it goes it's run it's running it's running you guys will see it before me okay there it is Donna Cooper, woohoo, congratulations on your two-year anniversary. So happy for you. Keep up the great job. I always look forward to seeing you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Oh, and she has her picture there. Donna Cooper. Okay, so I'm going to roll this up. And so that means she won the ice cream Superman yarn. So I'm going to roll this up. And I'm going to do a screenshot. There we go. Is it a screenshot? I don't know if you guys saw a flash. But anyway, I have a screenshot. And it says it saved it up there. That's cool. So I'm going to attach that in the video. And, okay, uh, Donna Cooper, you are the winner. So please contact me um, at crochet, my email, crochet6521 at gmail.com and the email address will be below in the comments okay and I'll be able to compare your picture and all that good stuff so okay so you guys send me a message Donna Cooper and I have some plans for some new videos that I want to make I found another pattern to use the Ogo another blanket to use the up the ogos because you guys know I'm what can you make with the ogo anything you want <laughs> and I might have printed out some other patterns I thought were pretty cool and I'm trying to think I'm trying to finish what I'm gonna send to Christy from crochet Cre creations by Christy and those are just little projects that I'm working on, and guess what? I have lots of time. <laughs> I have eight more doses as of today. So today's the 13th, so I have eight, eight more. No. Yeah, eight more doses, because you take ten doses is actually what it is. So that would be four more days of medicine. That's what it is. Okay. So thank you guys for your well wishes on my anniversary. And... Thank you guys um, for watching. Thanks for participating in the drawing. And I look forward to doing another video soon. Love you guys.